What the hell are these guys doing? Is that blood on his chest? Oh my God, this is absolutely ridiculous. There is zero benefits at all of doing this. People might think, you know, it's gonna help your punch resistance, but it does the opposite. It prevents you from building punch resistance. Look at the blood on his chest, that is ridiculous. And I think the funniest part about this is they just cuddle at the end and there's a kid behind them. Ridiculous. Oh, this guy looks strong. Throwing them punches. But I'm noticing when you're throwing that hook, you're kind of lifting off the floor. When you lift off the floor like that, you're taking the power out of the punch. If you keep them feet planted, a slight bend in your knees, loose knees, whoom, you get a lot more power in that hook. But you look strong. You've definitely got potential. And on this video, I'm reviewing boxing videos I've been tagged in on Instagram. And I'm gonna give you my very honest opinion on them. If I think your video is shit, I'm gonna say it. And I won an Olympic medal, had 106 fights in my career, so I know a little bit about boxing. If you want to learn more about boxing, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's get into it. Okay, this guy, wearing regular clothes in what looks like an office building. Hang on a minute. Is this guy a cleaner? I see a vacuum behind him. He's wearing his regular clothes. It looks like an empty office building at night. Maybe you've been scrolling Instagram when you've seen this and you thought you'd stop work, do a little shadow boxing video. Respect, I like it. Now let's have a look at your boxing video. So. Yeah, I see you're not really turning on the hooks. You're kind of flicking the punches out a little bit, which is a common mistake I see in shadow boxing. People will flick the punches out and they'll have their hands really loose. And with shadow boxing, you don't want to be flicking hands out like this. You want to kind of keep your fists loose. You want to keep your fists in a fist position, but you know, nicer and relaxed here. Like right here, you see your position with your hand when you're throwing that uppercut. If that was in a fight or a spa, you're going to break your hand. So get into the habits of turning and having a fist when you land them punches. But I've got respect for you, mate. You're doing this during your work hours. Love it, mate. Now this guy here is 65 years old. He sent me a message saying he's been enjoying my YouTube videos, watching them. So let's see what his boxing form's like. Looks solid, good straight punches. Nice, lovely jab, which is the most important punch in boxing. There's one thing there when you're throwing your hook. You want to be bringing your weight to your back foot when you throw that hook. Right here, when I see you throw that one-two hook, I see you've left your weight on the front foot. To get power into the punch in that hook, you need to bring the weight to the back foot. Transferring your weight from the right hand, from the front foot, to the back foot with that hook, and the power will increase. And I see that, I see that side step there, mate, you come back with a hook. I would always come back with a straight right hand. So you feel that one, two, side stepped. As soon as that foot hits the floor, boom, blasting that straight right hand and you get lots of power in it. But you're 65 years old. This is great, I'm impressed. If I'm half as good as you when I'm 65, yeah, I'll be happy. I see you've got the bag tied to the wall. I like that, especially if it's a light bag. But now you look where your hands are and the bag is coming forward to you. You always want to have your hands high if you're in range, whether you're on a heavy bag or you're with an opponent or you're on the mitts. If you're out of range, you can put your hands behind your back, you can pick your nose, you can do whatever you want with your hands. But when you're in range, like this guy is right here, you can see if that was a person, he would be getting hit because he's dropped these hands. Always bring them hands back to your face when you're in range. And there again, we drop on that left hand. Common mistake I see. If you drop that left hand, mate, you're gonna get whacked with the overhand right. <laughs> What's this guy wearing? Looks like he's wearing a ninja outfit. Oh, he's fighting like a ninja as well. Actually good punches, but it's funny how you've got your hand out and you're controlling the bag, then you're throwing the elbow, throwing the body shot. Think, mate, it's unrealistic. If someone was in front of you, they're not gonna let you see, hang on, mate, just wait there one minute while I do this. Boom, elbow, boom, elbow, boom, kick. No, mate, keep it realistic. The great thing about heavy bags is they move around, so it makes it more realistic. So you can use your feet and move around that bag, then come in with the shots, rather than setting it up and then doing it, setting up, then doing it. Let's get realistic, mate. Nice kick. All right, what we got here? Looks like a kickboxer. Nice form. Ooh, look at that big overhand right. I like it. Overhand right. Hook to the body. Hey, yo, look, your form looks great, and so far, you're the best boxer on this video. Oh, now this kid, he's been messaging me a lot on Instagram. Practice normally stuff. Yeah, roll. On that roll, you want to get a little bit deeper. Now, when you're rolling punches, you want to think about that arm that's coming your head height, and you want to get underneath that arm, because when we're rolling, we're rolling a hook. So if you see on the picture of me compared to you, I'm a little bit lower than you. So get a little bit lower, mate. A little bit better on the mitts. 
Now with the lean back, you want to be putting your weight to your back foot. If you see me on here compared to you, I've got me weight on me back foot. Because what I'm doing there, I'm setting up the next punch, which is a cross, and you're a little bit square on. But it's great work. This is constructive criticism. I love your passion and your practicing, and then you go and working on the mitts with it. I love it. The block. As you see here, you're covering your eyes. When you're blocking punches, you always want to have your eyes through your gloves like this. But made excellent work. I see your passion. Keep practicing. Ooh, nice. You're touching in them nice punches, then blasting some heavy punches. What I'm seeing here, you're throwing a one, two, then roll into your left. You should really roll to your right after a one, two, because after that two, your weight's on your front foot. You're on a perfect position to roll back, bringing that weight on your back foot to fire in that next shot. Right now, you're doing something that's a lot harder by throwing a one, two, and then bringing your weight central, and then going around into a hook. If you were going to do the one, two, roll hook, I would do a one, two, one, roll hook, or a one, two, hook, roll hook. Give it a try. But your form looks good. So you're slipping the jab, come back with your jab, nice, and blasting it over that overhand right. Boom, good. This is good. Now he's the demo of Mayweather. What I would prefer to see from you, mate, though, is like a boom, boom, one, two, rather than a one, pause, then two. I notice you're pausing in between. See, you've paused in between, and then you're firing it. So take that pause out and be a, Bam, bam, rather than a bam, 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 bam. Got some spawn. I don't know which person I'm reviewing here, but let's have a little look at it. Guy in the yellow is getting caught with some shots there. So right there, you're moving forward, you're pushing with your shoulder. If that was a fight, you would have got a toll off off the referee. So you're not trying to avoid that. Now this position here, it looks like you're looking elsewhere. In boxing, you will always want to keep your eyes on your opponent. Never look away. Oh, solid overhand right. But it looks like you've come off balance and you've switched southpaw when you've done it. Maybe that's what you were trying to do. I don't know. But keep working, mate. What we got here? What the hell is this? <laughs> what is that? I've never seen one of them before. Uh, wow. Now, if I'm supposed to be re reviewing your form and technique, mate, I think anyone watching this can review your form and technique. Like, look where your hands are, your hand position right here. <laughs> what is that thing? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, so first thing is the height of the bag. It's way too low. Now I get you look like a big dude and you know, you've got to do, you've got to work with what you work with. Your hands is very low, mate. And if, if you're punching the bag with low hands and bringing them back down here, even though it's a bag, it's not hitting your back, you're going to get into bad habits. Then right here, you're really loading up that left hook. If I'm in the ring with you, I can see that coming a mile away. So bring the left hook from your face rather than out and around. Common mistake, but you know with perfect practice, you'll get there. Oh, nice. Good form with this guy, I like it. Looking for mistakes, there's not much mistakes. Low left hand a little bit. Oh, there, we got one, we got one. Positioning right here. Left hand is really low and you can lean over to the side and you're throwing that right uppercut. With that very low left hand, you're wide open for an overhand right in this position here. If you kept your left hand up while you threw that, yeah, it would be great. Like, your other, like the rest of your form's really good. Let's see if you're making any more mistakes. Oh, this looks good. Oh, a little footwork mistake there. You can see what that is, the crossing of the feet. Always keep your feet apart, moving right, right foot first, moving left, left foot first. Now the big problem with this is, if your feet's like this and someone's coming at you straight away, you can't throw punches. So work on keeping them feet apart at all times. What we got here? Ooh, some fast hands. Them are solid hooks. Well, I like your style. Nice. With your speed and your power, maybe you're coming on to number one on this video so far, mate. I like it. Good solid hooks. Some sparring here, let's see what we got. Ooh, the guy in the blue head guard threw that big right hand left hook and landed. I'm guessing I'm reviewing you, because I don't think the other guy would have sent us in. Now what I see in there is a big telegraph of a jab from the guy in the blue t-shirt. So you'll be able to see right here, he telegraphs it. See, kind of pulling it back and stepping forward. That's why the guy in the blue head guard can get out the way of it. Good footwork, the guy in the blue. Footwork is key in amateur boxing, so good work. 
Oh no, looks like these guys, these kids have been inspired by the idiots at the beginning of the video. No, if you're a coach in this gym, figure this out. Don't be letting these guys do this. They're not learning anything from it. Hitting that tire. Is these tires just balancing? Or is there something in between them? Looks like if you hit that hard, it's gonna fall. I love hitting tires. But mate, you're hitting it, with, you're slapping the tire. Look at that, look where your hand is. You're slapping it like this, you need to turn your hand around. If you're in the ring, you're gonna get told off, you're gonna get a warning off the referee. Land with your knuckles, not with the palm. Oh, this is a high bag, look how high that is. Nice footwork, in and out with that nice jab, I like it. Not really telegraphing it, so it's good. You threw a one, two, you kind of leaned over a little bit too much when you threw that one, two, which if you were coming back with the left hook to the body, it would have been fine, but maybe you, could, maybe you would have done the body shot if the bag was a normal size, but I think this guy needs to switch heavy bags with this guy. But form is good, I like it. I'm impressed. You're bringing the hands back to your face, throwing lots of nice punches, moving. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, what we got here. Guys, if you want me to review your videos, tag me on Instagram and TikTok. Use hashtag Tony Jeffries and I'll be reviewing more videos very soon. So make sure you tag me on your videos. Yeah, I mean, you need to fool them, fully extend them arms, throw them long punches. Oh. Mate, I think with a coach, you've got potential. I'm gonna give you that. Have you ever sparred with an absolute idiot? Well, click here and watch this video next where you'll see sparring sessions that's went wrong. Click here.